what is up everyone sean here and i just wanted to actually redo this uh review bit uh for zenless on zero the latest and definitely not the greatest uh hoyo game out there but i think this is a game that will have a lot of potential going down the line uh definitely uh with the you know in addition to um the recent news that we got for Zenla Zone Zero, but we'll get to that in a later bit. But I just wanted to say that uh largely my first impressions going to here have been largely unchanged. Um there are a couple other things I do want to add on to those points that I made previously, but basically um the ones I do want to get out of the way just for the sake of it is of course the negatives, which is uh, of course, the storytelling, the TV system uh, definitely is the weakest aspect of, I say, uh, this uh, game here. At least especially during the launch of things, right? Where, you you know, the very first impression is very important. And a lot of the stuff that you see being told in the story is through the TV system, unfortunately. Especially during the important bits of it. And, in fact, most or most if not half of the story is through the tv system you know I, when you traverse around uh, place to place is through the tvs thus you know the tv system right and especially during the important bits like i said uh when it for one example the uh when you're taking the people onto the train so they get blown up during the the whole bit with vision right that vision is the evil evil corporation that is trying to um cut costs and build their well vision i guess you could say and essentially um you know they don't want to uh put out money to move the people out so instead they're just gonna just blow up the whole entire thing that's crazy that's like over the top some over the top stuff but yes it messed up nonetheless and there is a story to be told and, and, and unfortunately again you are only seeing the sort of actual activity or plan through the TV system. So you're not really seeing the people going to the train. It's not very engaging. It's very immerse, Im immersion breaking. So you're not uh, as engaged as one should be with this ty type of story. Um, while though the storytelling is bad, the visual side of things is better, I'd say, than let's say Genshin and of course, uh, uh, Star Rail at times. Although I think Genshin is by far the worst one of the three uh, out of the modern Hoyo games, in my opinion, just because it, they, do, they do this uh, uh, the most bare minimum of telling the story and at the same time repeat a lot of the points over and over again, thanks to Paimon and stuff like that. What I do really like about here when it comes to the story portion of things is the three styles of storytelling on the visual side of things. Uh, when they're doing the dialogue. So they have the sort of the visual novels type of uh, aspect of things. Like, like I guess you're, you're, you're staring at a uh, visual novel or basically something from a classic JRPG, like uh, like Tales or something, or um, any other of those um, old uh, games with the text box and then you have the half body you know animating and stuff like that and uh, i really do like that because they actually have their own unique animations whereas genshin and star rail have their own uh, they they only use mostly the default animations that you see you know you, you you'll know those poses over and over and over again um and that gets very very tiresome fast um or just tiresome over time depending on who you are as someone who has played these hoyo games for uh over three years now um i can definitely see you know the in kind of the ins and outs in the way of how they do things how they develop these games so um I, at least here i i can definitely see it as a plus uh i really do like the, that fact that each character has their own animation that their, their own way of standing their own way of you know doing the thinking pose or something or being surprised or something like that um, and, and, and with that is actually pretty refreshing. The other two styles, of course, uh, is involving with the comic book style. They actually have in, you know, like panels, um, different artwork, uh, speech bubbles and stuff like that. It does move like a motion comic book in a way, 
which is really cool. They have the look, the, they like, pan, they, do, they, do, they do the panning and everything, camera panning. It's really cool. At least in comparison to, like, dare I say again, Genshin. And that really adds to the visual side of things. The other style, of course, lastly, of course, is those really highly qual high, high quality um, anim uh, cut, uh, animated cutscenes, excuse me. Um, they have that bubbly movement. They really like they, they, they feel wavy and all that stuff. But um, when you look at it from the grand scheme of things, it's really cool. Um, high, high, uh, like high adrenaline stuff. It really adds to the character's movements. It gives them character. Um, even in comparison to the other Hoyo games when it comes to their um, animated cutscenes and stuff like that. The, uh, the, the CGI and all the uh, pre-rendered cutscenes and a lot of stuff, you know, where the, the, that, you see that action, right? Um, by far, I, I think Zenla Zone Zero as the latest game reflects that um, the most with um, high quality and such. So uh, definitely praises there when it comes to the visual side of things. I mean, they do a lot of very, very interesting visual things with the characters, um, especially when you're like, you know, doing the gotcha uh, polls, right? I, I, it's just so different. So I, I give uh, respect to that. It's super different. Whereas Genshin and Star Rail d do pretty similar things. You know, you have that animation and then you have the 2D R for the character. And then the splash art, right? Very similar, except obviously there are some differences, but the structure is very similar, if not the same. Whereas uh, in Zenless, you have the music going on, very urban, right? And then you have the speakers and the TVs and stuff like that rotate, and then they, they just do this this big old boom, and then you have that character, you know? It's um, really cool. It's a really fascinating way of doing a gotcha animation um so i you know it, it it is it does have its faults right i mean um inconveniences uh it's very quick uh it tells you how many uh golds or purples you have or s ranks or a ranks you have right away so it's kind of convenient in that sense but it also from a st storytelling perspective of content creating it does spoil things uh, so it kind of like miles down the surprise, quote unquote, but you still never know who it is or what it is. It could be, yeah, you, you may have been the 50-50 or you've gotten a duplicate of the banner character. I mean, that's there's still that sort of surprise. But overall, I do like this uh, animation um, more ways than one. Whereas, you know, um, Genshin and Star Rail kind of take more of a classic approach. It's very familiar. It's simple um you know it's there but i say star rail while the animation of itself is good it takes the longest just to know if it's a purple or a gold you know so the convenience is lower probably the lowest and and then um uh zenless here kind of takes the cake in my opinion when it comes to the sort of convenience versus the overall animation quality i guess but even in the anim animation quality department, uh, Zenless takes that, in my, in my opinion. It, it does something different. It just looks cool also. The music is, yes, uh, pretty cheesy, especially once you get that S rank. But, you know, it, it's something you're kind of um, you, uh, grown. It, it kind of grows on you in a way. It's just something that, make, that makes you laugh in a good way, I'd say. Um, there's just a lot of good things about the animation side of things, uh, you know, the attacks, the visuals, right? Um, so everything visual pretty much does look pretty cool. The graphics and everything does look pretty good. I like, you know, this sort of stuff too, like the menu backgrounds with the characters and stuff like that. You can unlock uh, more of these over time when you in increase the social ranks, right? The trust aspect of things. It's kind of like Persona with the... Um, the social levels and stuff like that. Uh, same thing here, except that it doesn't it doesn't uh, take into account of like you know more attack or more damage or anything like that. It's just bonus stuff like cosmetics, uh, including avat I think uh, avatars or something. But you get a different background once you max their trust levels or trust ranks. So it's it's kind of nice. It's uh, it's like a little bonus things. It's just those those little things that add up, right? 
Now, when it comes to more towards um, the gameplay side of things, it, it it does can it does tend to get kind of messy. There is ups and downs, more downs than anything, unfortunately. But uh, potentially that will get addressed uh, during the recent news of things. But let me go over the negatives already. So uh, we do have the UI. The UI is kind of a mess right now because. Um, it, it, it definitely depends on who you are like it, it's very case by case because people are different they see things different but I kind of definitely see the messiness of it that people have been pointing out for example I kind of wish they don't do that sometimes it's kind of annoying like okay you know they want to talk but they talk and then um it's like dude I just want to pick a character but anyway you can just do this and you can do it you can avoid that but anyway um when it comes to stuff like their equipment, right? That's essentially like their equipment pieces that have like the stats, you know, you have attack, crit damage, all that stuff. Um, they, they they usually come in armor pieces. So you have like the distinction of the helmets, you have the arms, the legs or boots, um, chest piece, so on and so forth, depending on which game it is, right? Yeah, you, you know, in Genshin, you have goblets. Um, and then you have uh, planets in a way and the galaxy chains i guess you could say or the tails or whatever you want to call them um in star rail but here they're all discs and notice their shape right there's no distinction between each of them you can't even tell right away like which one is which and such like that so it actually really takes um it's taken for granted of like what what uh the importance of shapes are like in games shapes help distinguish things right away like you know like which one is which just by just bah, boom like just by looking at it in a second but you have to click through like okay which one is which oh okay so um this one is hp this one is attack this one is defense so on and so forth um the only way for you to memorize is just like the placement i guess you could say but you know just it's really it would be really nice to see if um or see uh, if the shapes can come through but uh, right now these are supposed to be discs um which goes with the theme of like you know cds tvs and cassettes and vhs's and tapes right they like to play around with the media stuff the physical media as part of their theming which is cute but it kind of backfires in the in the convenience department because um again it it, it, it loses that distinctiveness between each of them so you have to read through just to know which one has the stats right that you're looking for you know you have the tag percentage or you know for example grace right she wants the enamel and stuff but there's no there's no indication right away that these are enamel enamel pieces uh, unless you actually have to click through them so i wish at least they put the main stats on the the, the main screen right here right, uh, right away so you just know you know which one is which even if they just put like one, two, three, four, five, that's not gonna work. I, I feel like they need to at least put the main stats on each of those discs, or on, at least on the sides of the discs, just to let you know, hey, like this is this and that and stuff like that. Things like that are a mess, including the W engines. Um, all these are like just balls instead of like you know distinctive sh shapes as well. Uh, <clears throat> they need to, or they should do that because it separates. And you can know like oh this is for um enamel this is for impact oh this is for the defense people or this is for the attack uh characters but you have to again read through your way essentially of which one is which and in, in the yes there are those the tiny little symbols right there but I, I just wish that they have distinct shapes for each class or whatever that way you can just like see them boom and you can just make that distinction right away you know just it's that key word right distinction it, it, it definitely is taken for granted until you lose it right so um that's another thing they should take into consideration is to just help um make things way easier for um navigating through the menus also make distinct shapes and logos to help you know pick out uh which 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 is what right away just to you know add the convenience it really is the small things that really count to a big thing you know it's just those things uh 
the little things that add up to a big thing, you know? Um, now, kind of going back on the story for a little bit, um, each character in the uh, in this roster for right now, including the new um, uh, new character, G, uh, Jiuen, are pretty cool. I like these characters. I like how they're written. Um, they're good. Uh, I don't think they do anything super new or anything like that. You know, it's, it's a lot of them are pretty um, standard, like anime characters that you see um, nowadays, you know, and there's nothing, there's nothing like out of the ordinary or anything like that other than the visuals, right? Um, I guess, but they're cool. They're cool looking and they are, they, you know, they have that effect where it's like, oh, I want to pull for this character. I want to pull for that character. Um, I like Ellen. They do have some distinctions though. Like they have that the, some of them have like the animal traits, like right? The Therans they're called in this game, which is basically humans or hybrids with uh, animal features. Like like Ellen here has um, a shark, a, you know, big old shark tail, right? She's very popular right now, um, and she is the only five star ice DPS or attack unit. So that's also a reason why. Other than the fact that she dresses up as a maid and has a big old shark tail, so you know I like her. Um, I, I I was really lucky to pull for her, and I was really happy when I did. Um, you know, and I, I do like Ju Yan. She's you know a serious cop, but uh, on the outside she's very tough. On the exterior side of things, but on the inside she's very soft, very like very much like a bean, right? Like cute little bean, right? On the inside you kind of definitely see that with those trailers which they tend to do because I don't know that's Hoyo but anyways um you have the sort of the stoic type of girl but she likes hamburgers right you know um she has she she is heavily heavily involved with debt and money and stuff like that and she's kind of like a, a sassy type, type of chick or kind of an asshole sometimes but anyway this guy is basically um a Japanese biker gang member, um, but he is very honorable. You know that has that sort of that honorable thing going on, and and then his uh, drill is uh, it, that's his big bro apparently. So things like that, it's like yeah, you know you don't you know, you don't really hate them or anything like that. It's just like traits that are pretty common are like like kind of it gets emulsified and it become amalgamation of sorts, and then they uh, do enough interesting things to make different designs and stuff like that to make them very pullable at times. I mean, you got Soul Cocker right here. This, you know, you have a blue demon Oni girl um, in the game already. So um, it does make the roster from, in comparison to like, you know, uh, Star Rail and Genshin quite distinctive where uh, Genshin has like people with animal ears, sure. But then you have characters like her, Soul Cocker, for example, who's really good right now, uh, but on top of that, she is a blue skin Oni girl. So you have that very, uh, the dive, so that that quote unquote diverse cast in the sense that you have like different, um, like just types of characters. You have, you have a robot slash cyborg. Um, you have a, a freaking bear. And then of course you have a, you have the humans, right? And then you have the hybrids, you know, you have the, 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 the girls with cat ears, all that stuff. Oh yeah, you have this soldier girl right here, you know, and then you have a little little wolf. So obviously the the, the furries will definitely love that. Um, if there is a Hoyo game for the her, uh, furries, this is definitely for them. Hopefully they um, capitalize on that with furry characters. I'm all for different things. Um, I'm all for um, variety because I think variety is a spice of life. So they definitely have a big potential in their hands if they keep up with this sort of um, character design philosophy. So hopefully they come out with more um, of these <clears throat> anthropomorphic characters um, in the future, especially when there's only two of them right now, if I'm correct, with uh, Ben Ben Bigger and uh, Lycan right here, or Von Lycan. So, so so far, I think they're pretty cool. I, uh, I think they're it's really cool just with that fact alone. Right, in comparison to other Hoyo games anyway. The combat content right now is already looking um, a little better than let's say Genshin. The challenge is, uh, you know, pretty good for right now, but you know, as of launch to here, 
it does get pretty e it is pretty easy in a way um the combat of itself is uh you know a mixed bag depending on who you are if you are coming in with a very fresh mind you, you definitely will like it but if you've played enough games with a lot of action especially with like demo and cry uh bayonetta um you know so on and so forth you'll you'll find this very watered down or bogged um very simple it's definitely for the mobile audience right with the mo the, the people who are on their smartphones uh this is definitely you know a game from china so this is definitely made for chinese players who are very mobile right similar with japan as, as well so people are going to play this on their phones definitely right there's there's that big audience for that and this game is definitely catered to that audience um with that you're just like mashing the attack button and then you wait for the ta uh the chain uh mechanic to activate which is the tag mechanic in this game you know as you play with three characters at a time uh in each level and you know you can go and kind of go bonkers with it you just attack kind of dodge uh here and there of course um you can parry as well which is honestly very satisfying it grew on me quite a bit the more i did those parries like you, 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 uh, when you um see that yellow glint and then you hit the tag button and then you just hear that ding sound and it's just so satisfying especially when it when it's like involved with a giant monster and you just whack on you and then you block with someone like um ambi or sokaku they just block it like it's nothing but you see that big old spark a blur a, a, a filter and everything it's really satisfying and then you get the uh the defensive um assist attack right after so you get something out of it so each of those characters have those mechanics that uh involve with dodging assists um defensive assists and of course uh tag uh ask um attacks so when you every time you chain they do some uh they have their own distinctive sort of attacks or effects and stuff like that, that you know which does bring something to the table but at the end of the day you're just mashing through and uh, that is kind of a negative for me maybe they'll add something more to the f uh, in the future of things as they are doing something about um a lot of the things uh that we have been complaining about already so that's good i mean despite me the complaining about um a lot of the things so far anyway in this review they are already have um are being mentioned in their uh uh their log right now their, their dev log so that's pretty good so hopefully they address like the um the ui stuff the menu stuff um the battle pass is just like this more the same uh the grind is like there of course um a lot of the energy is um is what you needed for a lot of the activities to level up your characters <clears throat> so the grind is very similar um but although at least they give you 240 energy right away unlike well genshin right even up to this day they just they just gave us a 160 um for the limit but the recharge rate has not been changed at all now here uh what also makes things a little different here is that while they don't have an overcharge system for the energy they, they allow you to have ex uh, 60 extra energy per day when you uh, drink their coffee so it's like it's kind of weird it's uh, kind of cute but also strange but hey i'll take extra energy any day um and also when you drink their coffee depending on which day it is or whatever you have different effects of oh you can get extra um materials depending on what it is uh whether it's for your character or your w engine or your for your weapon or um anything else really so very pretty interesting mechanic but yeah it helps with the grind a little bit uh, more ways than one now when you start out uh, with these games uh especially with zenless they give you like a discount rate for these uh banners and then you will get your five star right away um which is pretty nice they'll give you like i think your first 50 summons they'll guarantee you a five star of store of sorts um which is pretty nice but that being said that being said um i feel like they you are kind of forced to pull anyway because of the limited um cast of the characters they give you 
because a lot of these important characters are behind gotcha uh you know for example lycan as a ice uh impact unit um pretty important right now because a lot of the enemies are ice or have the weakness of ice right and a lot of these characters are behind the gotcha including lycan um ellen you know it's really good because of that as well um ether is another one so that's why uh juen is very pretty important in my opinion and then you have sokaku being really good for support but also has ice right so um things like that it's kind of annoying it's kind of scummy in a way but that's you know gotcha for you i guess but i think it's, it's a little extra scummy here in this case just just based off of that now there are more complaints uh, uh that i would like to mention but they're gonna get addressed here anyway most likely so i'm just gonna just go ahead and bring up this already so they're they have been addressing and acknowledging the fact that yes uh, the tv system is a problem and addition to that they're gonna add a manual chain attack where yeah i mean sometimes the chain attacks are unnecessary and you want to keep using that character for a little longer but they kind of just feel like you're being forced to chain instead of just keeping keeping up the damage with uh, a certain character for, for example um you can also cancel chain uh chain attack combos um uh, via via option right um that'll be for a future update and then of course uh you'll be able to look at the uh, enemies attribute resistances uh, or elements in this case or um yeah that's the elements right like uh, fire uh physical ice so on and so forth attribute resistances is something you can't really see right away so they're making that easier for you to see um so that you can pick your agents um accordingly um and then even you know i addressed a complaint where you know you you go out your way to unlock certain agents in the ba uh, gotcha banners but they don't allow you to just walk around the world with these agents well that's being addressed somewhere in here um i think somewhere let me see blah 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 um uh after oh yeah so this is, the, this is the avatar so that's also nice but what I'm looking for is being addressed somewhere in, um, let me see here. Oh yeah, right here. So currently you can only control uh, Wise or Bell. Those are the main characters in the city instead of other agents you have obtained uh, in, in the special program live streams of later versions. We will announce our progress and future plans. Um, so it basically is addressing the fact that, yeah, people would li like to, um, get uh have other characters on the screen instead of just wise and bell you know you go all your way to pu pull these agents for you to not be able to see them in those um modes or whatever so uh, which is a standard in star rail and genshin so um i even complained about that and i got ellen right after that so i felt like hey you uh complain about the game the game will offer you something maybe <laughs> maybe if you complain just enough but no um i'm glad that this was this is being addressed it is a cosmetic thing but you know again it's the small things that really do add up eventually so things like that uh they, they did they, yeah and yes they did address the tv stuff um right here so they'll definitely um uh optimize that or you know really you know refine it so that way it doesn't uh interrupt the combat experience but also the storytelling uh experience as well so which is uh i believe addressed right here so you'll be able to um actually interact in the uh new era new neighborhoods and fight through levels to advance the story's um progression from the perspective of the protagonist for that mission so that's really good that they are you know aware of that they I, I think they've been aware of that but um i think it's definitely time to acknowledge it and actually do something about it so hopefully the tv system gets addressed um i think it should not have been the main part of the story uh i think it should have been just like the, in the little mini events or mini games so um i think that is a very good thing so uh Zenless zone zero with that does have a lot of vast potential for the future of things but uh it does not change the fact that the first impressions or first launch of the game or first uh like the honeymoon phase quote unquote 
of Zelda Zone Zero's launch was pretty weak in comparison to the other Hoyo games. I think Genshin and uh, Star Rail really had a good high right, right off the bat. But this is a kind of a slower burn. Um, the story is very mild in comparison. Like you're not dealing with like cosmetic gods or um, mythical gods and like that. You're just, you're just kind of like dealing with uh, an evil corporation for right now. But with the uh, lore teaser that they dropped on uh, YouTube, it does make things more interesting potentially. But you know, you're still just dealing with very powerful people and not so much like gods or you know anything vast or anything like that. So it's a more grounded story. And um, you know, I think that's a kind of a refreshing thing. Yes, I mean, yeah, you're dealing with monsters also, but you're kind of like dealing with dealing with like sci-fi elements um, in a different way, I guess. Uh, more like hacking stuff like it's almost like the matrix if you will um and then you know there's that there, there, uh there is a potential collaboration with street fighter 6 so hopefully that'll be um bearing some sort of fruit at the end um so yeah a lot of good things coming um i'd say so definitely a good best future but uh like i said the uh launch phase of things wasn't really weak so with that uh, i'm gonna rate my score based off of that experience um, so taking everything to account, I'm going to go ahead and definitely give this like a 6.5 out of 10, I think, um, which is a pretty good score, all things considered. Uh, my average is five, um, five out of 10. Um, that's my average. Whereas, you know, like a school grade would be like seven out of 10 be considered average, but, uh, my average is five. So it is above average in that sense, because the animations and the quality and everything, the visuals are definitely above average and the combat can be fun it does have its moments but overall it is very simplistic and watered down in comparison to other games that i have played in the past even for genshin it's uh in comparison to genshin genshin has a one-up in combat uh, of itself because of the elements the reactions how you switch teams and stuff like that the synergy and stuff like that um definitely adds up to be a more robust com combat system in comparison to zenless while it does have team synchronization of course Eh, I mean, you're still matching through um, the attack button and the tag and the uh, chain tag button at the end of the day. So, anyway, 6.5 out of 10. Um, weak, weak uh, start, or at least a slow start, anyway. But the potential is definitely there. They are trying to work on it, so I'm definitely happy to see that. So I'll stick with the game a little longer. We'll see how it goes, and. Um, so for anyone who wants to keep playing the game and uh, keep doing those polls, I wish the best of luck to you all responsibly because it is a gacha game at the end of the day and they are out for your wallets. So keep that in mind. So with that, thank you very much. What are your comments on Zenland Zone Zero? What do you guys think? Do you, guys, do you guys like the game so far? Are you guys falling off already? Anything like that in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Really do help uh, appreciate it because it does help out. So this has been my review for Zelda Zone Zero. I know this is a little more of a run and gun type of uh, review, but um, a lot of the complaints I have have been, have been addressed or being addressed in some way um, via this logger here anyway. So um, kind of a no point to you know write up a script and then do my review like that as usual. So anyways, thank you very much and hope to see you all in the next video. Sean out.